I'm just around the corner. I just closed a big deal. I had to fight for it. It's hard with all that's happened with the banks. I hope I have your blessing. I'm to be a lady now. The wife of Sir Alan Pennington. He must be my age. My lady, have you not heard about a volcano? A volcano? In England? I beg your pardon. Oh, Miss Bennett, this is Mr. Holden. The volcanic ash from Iceland has disrupted my travel plans. Our missing guest. Welcome to Caldwell. I've spoken to Alan, and he is thrilled to be marrying you. We don't know what day or time you'll get here, but when he does, I'm, I'm happy to marry you in this small room. Any questions? You're like an exorcist missile, Geoffrey, always popping up out of the blue. You could have called. No bar now. You're quite an enigma, June Bennett. What do you mean? Well, you're young, pretty, successful. And you're marrying a multi-millionaire your father's age. How the hell did that happen? He's my godfather. I told him if he could wait four years, then I would marry him. <laughs> I was joking, of course. <laughs> no, Sir Alan's a lovely man, but I wouldn't want to marry a man much older than me like him, even if I'm your age. It's John man from America. I mean, how does an American get to be called a sir any road? And I only got enough sirs without getting more from America. Ah, the future Lady Pennington, let me have a look at you. My, 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 what a picture. Let's see, Renoir, Goya. Oh, I see it, Manet. Definitely a Manet, wouldn't you say, Caroline? <laughs> Trust me, Dad. I know what I'm doing. 